Hello, and welcome to Caves of Cud. We're doing it. We're, uh, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, I certainly am not going back to that historic site. I'm sorry to anyone who is disappointed by that, but I am officially done with dismembering crocs. It just doesn't, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun for me. If it's fun for you, I, I feel like that's just unfortunate. I just don't wanna, you know? I don't wanna. And I don't think I should have to. Um, let me see, do we have any books? We do have some books, not a lot. Not not enough to justify anything. Um, by the way, I, I looked up a couple of things. I looked up what a cycle flesh gun does, and I kinda regret giving that up. Those were pretty interesting weapons. And uh, they would have been really good for my build because I am a high ego build. Not high, not that high, but you know, high enough. So, um, kind of just like considering all of this. Mm, maybe I want to throw. Can we do another point? No, we can't do another point. Let's do. No, we can't do that either. Okay. I guess uh, I'd rather not like spend more points on heightened quickness. We are at the point where leveling up is going to be kind of few and far between. You know, we're not, uh, we're no longer like, oh, yeah, we got another level up. You know, um, it's, it's going to be a bit, a bit of a, a bit of time, a bit of time before we do that. What is this sling and run? I can, I finally have enough agility to afford this. You receive no accuracy penalties for firing pistols while running. Yeah. What about this? You are 5% more likely to score a critical hit. For a run that's been very high pistol, I haven't really taken any pistol skills, have I? That's because my agility hasn't been high enough. There are things I could do to kind of mitigate that, but uh, they're, they're slightly RNG based. You know what I kind of want to do? Is I kind of want to roam around the jungle. Just roam around. Uh, I almost just like bask in the novelty of, um, you know, I did it. I finally did it and I made friends-ish with goat folk. Uh, that sounds like a great, it's just like, that's a, that's a pretty hard thing to do, you know? But there's a, there's a practical reason to this is I still need, um, some goat folk rep. Do we have a love tonic? I'm pretty sure we do. Oh yeah. Um, you didn't miss anything. I, I did do a little bit of um, shopping uh, between episodes and I noticed that one of the stores in Eid Freehold had a love injector, so I bought it. That's it. Um, so we have an extra one now, which is great. I, I am very happy about that. Uh, so I don't know if like necessarily um, wandering around the jungle is a good way of making friends with with goat folk, but um, I I think it's not not a bad way. I mean, it's kind of like um, roaming around the six days, not the six days, still the salt desert. You know, you're more likely to make friends with tortoises and um, you know barathermites and mechanimus. For some reason, they like to hang around in the desert. So you know, at this point, we're we're at a good stage where we can almost treat the jungle like uh, this, the salt desert, which is a real novel position to be in. Uh, I've never really gotten to this point in Cud where, oh, we're, we're like okay, we're on okay terms with frogs. That's kind of nice. Uh, I've never gotten to a point in Cud where I can actually like wander around in the desert, um, or sorry, in the jungle and treat it like the desert. I can, I can explore the jungle as if it was actually like, you know, not a terrible place. It is kind of a terrible place. I mean, this, I, I gotta say, I, I'm not a huge fan of the jungle. There's our vast animus. Um, and we are still gonna be getting hit by uh, Naphtali. We are on okay terms with Naphtali. We might even become friends with them as well, which is great because they tend to, um, hang out with um, robots, chrome idols. And a legendary chrome idol is a robot and will hopefully give us some reputation 
with robots. So, you know, it's a Naphtali, Naphtali are the are a, ga a gateway to robots. I think there is a way to kind of puzzle out the reputations, the various reputations in Caves of Cud. I think that there is. I think it's something I have never really um, bothered to do. But I think there is some advanced play in, uh, you know, how you make friends with different reputations. I think it's worth, uh, really highly worth figuring out because you do, you do want to make friends with certain people. You want to make friends with certain people and you want to make friends with certain factions. And like, for instance, if we could get, uh, if we could make friends with robots, it would be worth um, wandering around in the Deathlands. Uh, or even Baroque Ruins because then I don't have to get uh, absolutely destroyed by Gam Gams. So anyway, we're inspired. Let's cook something interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Preserve. Do we have some stuff we can preserve? Um, let's choose some ingredients to cook with. Oh, I don't know. Salve and Hulk honey. That's boring. I've done that. I've done that before. It's not very interesting. We could do um, mashed lag. Mashed lag and cycle gland paste and worm jerky. Why not? Plus four willpower reveals a secret to you. Nice. I know that uh, mashed lag um, is is uh, willpower based. So that's nice. What did we get? Ro locations ruins. I should check my locations. Uh, I think. Gavin was saying in my comments um, that uh, the that stops Valen is a location like the 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 Snapjaw who has stops Valen, which is a consistent thing, by the way. Um, you know, it, one of those uh, you know things that there's always a Snapjaw who has stops Valen. If you don't know what stops Valen is, it's a shield um, which gives you a the ability to activate a force field in front of you um, which is great it's just a really really good shield and I'm pretty sure it's a buckler as well so that means I would be able to wield it without uh, you know dropping one of my precious weapons which how, how many were we on oh for some reason I am not holding something here oh yeah oh I have to go get that stupid dagger don't I uh, okay, I'll do that. Um, I hate that. Let's do that. Um, I'm gonna go back to that... No, some ruins? Sure, we'll, we'll explore some ruins. Real quick. Oh, you gotta go back to that historic site just to... Check, um... Just to get my dagger back. Cause, like, you know, I can afford to lose a lot of things. I really don't want to lose that dagger. Some ruins in the deep jungle. Forgotten ruins, nice. I probably should uh, put my get my gyrocopter back. Cause I'm getting to the point where I w it would be a good idea to have that on me. Okay. Um, in case we like, you know, oh God damn it. Remain stunned. I'm trying to figure out what they what they took from me. What did they take from me? Um, you know, like you you, you want to like explore. If it tells you there's a ruin nearby, you definitely want to explore it. Um, just to mark it on your map, right? That's just the the baseline, so you can you can explore it in the future. But when you do explore it, there's a not 0% chance, there's our, there's our dagger, that you will, um, you know, be in a, a, a bad situation where there's enemies around and you can't really, you know, you can't, you can no longer get out of that. You can't go back to the overworld map, um, which it sucks. You know, I, I hate being in that situation. So that's why the gyrocopter is really good because then you can fly. See, there you go. Hostiles nearby. Don't know where they are. It was a gel. Okay, now we leave. Um, let's go back to Eat Freehold for just a moment, just to set a checkpoint. And then we're gonna go back to the jungle. So 
So there's a couple of things. There's a couple of comments in, in talking about certain features and things, um, you know, that people are, you know, maybe happy or unhappy with. Uh, namely, the you know the the, the topic of the uh, the you know the big 1.0 update, the UI interface update. Um, Moonstair, it's it's you know very thick in the air. You know, people are talking about it, and I know that some people are not happy with the interface update. I'd say one, you know, some people, you know, I've heard one person. I'm not gonna call them out. Um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respectfully disagree on their stance of like basically shrinking the uh, actual play area uh, in order to kind of fit all of the interface stuff inside. I'll tell you why it's a very good thing and why it's a necessary evil um, is because it makes it very, very easy to scale CUD for other, um, you know, interfaces. For instance, phones and you know, the Switch or the Steam Deck or basically every, you know, bizarro monitor that, you, you know, exists, including super wide monitors. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a necessary evil. There's not really a good way of doing it, you know, period. Um, and I'm not saying you're not, I'm not saying you're wrong for not necessarily liking it. Um, but I will say that I prefer it because, you know, of above mentioned reasons in my Moonstare video, which don't worry, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I'm just talking about the UI interface, um, update, which is, I, I, I don't like the, how, I don't like the overlay as it is now. I don't like the floating windows. I've never been a huge fan of them. I don't like how they switch around. I don't like how I have a, a, a button I can press. I died. I just got an achievement. I died. What? Turn to stone by the gaze of a lithofex and psychic thrall. I didn't realize I was like in the way of that's a, like that's a, that's the second time that's ever happened to me. Well, we got an achievement, so that's what the series is about. And luckily I did just set my um my checkpoint, so that was good foresight on my part. And hey, I'm, you know, this is a role play game, so I'm not like super annoyed and frustrated with uh, both myself and even maybe a little bit the game because I was able to be killed by something that I couldn't see. Um, you know, that falls under the category of stuff happens. Um, you know, there's better and worse ways of saying that, but uh, sometimes so stuff happens. And I like to play fast and loose, and that's why I think role play suits my play style more. Um, you know, another and less polite person might say that that is, that I actually like to play badly. I prefer to play badly. Um, we've had this conversation about valid play, and I think that there is no really in, uh, any invalid way of having fun. Um, I think that there are definitely uh, objectively polite and impolite ways of telling someone something in terms of like how how happy you are with watching them play and doing certain things and when you come to my channel uh this almost feels like an attack it's not really i'm just like thinking out loud honestly when you come to my channel you can expect a couple of things you can expect caves of good content which i believe is uh, i wouldn't say is in large supply i would say that, that some people definitely do some stuff for youtube and uh you know uh, I, I'm definitely one of those people. And you can expect uh, me to be semi-analytical when it comes to certain mechanics. Um, oh, so there, there's the lithofex, and I almost died to them again in almost exactly the same way. I'm really hoping this is acid. Yeah, or poison gas. That works. Um, you can expect me to be analytical. You can expect me to, you know... Uh, have a, a certain amount of love for for cud despite um my my grievances meaning when i die to something that was basically entirely my fault um so you know you can either be okay with that or you can't be i mean uh, those are the things i i, I uh, you know i don't get many nasty comments but you know you know how it is right as a as a um any kind of person that puts content on the on the internet you can't put content on the internet of any kind without expecting 
uh, basically toxicity. And um, I think that that's a shame, <laughs> you know, like I, I think it is a shame that we have in the, the lifespan of and the history of the internet never figured out really a good way of dealing with um, that. How, how is it we've never figured that out? Oh God. Okay, hold on a second. Good. Um, how is it we've never figured out how to, you know, create a space on the internet in which we don't have to, you know, anticipate toxic behavior, toxic and, and, and nasty words from people. The, you know you know that when you put stuff on online and you receive a nasty comment, it's going to basically negate, well, not necessarily negate, but mitigate um, 10 other nice things that people say. You know, you, you get, and I, I get a lot of nice comments and I really appreciate them. But, you know, the one nice, com the one nasty comment is always going to be like, well, that's, th that's the one that stays with me. I'm equip, I'm going to equip that one on my brain um and it's very much treating it almost like the um oh god what is it called now oh, yeah i have to remember now on triangle no hold on mamon soul drinker i i hate trying to make a reference and then i forget the amaranthine prism I'm going to equip that nasty comment much like an am am amaranthine prism and it, it will uh, eventually kill, uh, burrow its way into my brain and, and kill me. Is that spores? Yes, it is. Oh god, and I was inspired and I didn't bother to try and make the... Uh, Alright, well, let's, let's try this again. I say try it again, I'm not inspired right now, so unfortunately I can't make the... I can't keep, have a recipe for this, but, you know, I can but try. Well, why not? We'll put in some worm jerky. Whenever you drop low, you don't... Uh, no, that's not, that's not the one. Choose ingredients. Um, I'll try doing this from now on, where I do star apple jam vine wafer sheaf and some worm jerky and then we'll see if maybe that helps no maybe that's not actually helpful okay and now i can't do it i truly cannot stand um when i am dumb enough to walk into a fungal forest and not follow the proper uh procedures so that i don't get fungled we're gonna collect some cider. This is a consolation prize for me. Anyway, a lot of uh, a lot of talk about toxicity, really, just to to underline that hey, I died, and that's fine. Hard, you know, beating uh, Caves of Cut on hardcore mode that'd be great. I would, I would, I would, that would definitely make my day. Um, and I will do it someday. Maybe I'll do it on a stream or something. I, I wouldn't mind doing it on stream because then at least there's a, a kind of camaraderie to, you know, losing. When you when you uh, play something like this, when you play something like Caves of Cud, um, by yourself, with the intention of like uploading your successes and your failures, um, you don't know what to expect from people. You don't know what people are going to say but you can definitely expect the worst you can expect the worst but you can't necessarily know for sure um but the uh, you know my my uh inclination is to expect uh the absolute worst from people <laughs> um despite you know history and evidence supporting the contrary so um, what the, all that really means is that, you know, if I do something really stupid and die from it or lose, um, especially on hardcore mode where the stakes are, you know, very high, then, um, you know, it's not just losing the game that I am I'm now, uh, you know, 
up against. It's the potential criticisms that I will receive for having done so in a stupid way. Which I just think is unfair, in a way, because it's like, hey, I, I died. Um, I, I'm, I'm suffering, you know? Like, I, I have to live with that weight, cowboy. And, uh, you know, it seems to me my punishment has already been uh, kind of doled out. Why, why also do I receive the, you know, harsh words and scolding? I don't want it. I mean, I probably know why I died. It's the same reason every time, honestly. Every time is I was doing stuff too quickly and I didn't see the thing that could kill me and it killed me. So that is that is the reason. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So I apparently have already explored this jungle here. So let's go ahead and move over here and check out Chromium Tapur, one of the ruins that I discovered but never did anything with. I mean, I'm already put, like, I've got my options set to ignore things uh, at trivial. And that is a rocket turret over there. Why is it not attacking me? The rocket turret and pariah to its people cannot... Be, is this a person who is disguised as a rocket launcher? No. No, it is like genuinely a pariah. Are these all pariahs? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're like on good terms with um, the Gersh, aren't we? That's just so, so strange to me. I'm really surprised that there is no... Oh, there is a legendary... Hated by highland tropic beings, hated by villagers of Tamarod. Kind of tempted to destroy this person. They're hated by a lot of people, a lot of villagers, and I do need to make friends with said villagers. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to destroy this rocket turret right now. Because that is going to provoke all of these lads. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill everyone. I'm sorry. I know I'm 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 doing the the pariahs dirty. I like pariahs, but they're pariahs for a reason. And we just got a bunch of reputation. I do need to finish the slinth quest, and I would like to do so on this run. I wonder, you know, maybe I should just, like, explore some ruins. Not just, like, ru not doing ruin diving, per se. But explore some actual ruins. Because they can be, they can be pretty good. I'm not sure, like, what the likelihood is of finding, um, you know, legendaries in a ruin are. But if there's any, you know, it's just like, you know, you have to, you have to wander cut. You gotta... Really kind of get your hands dirty and, and just wander around cut until you find, you know, those who you are looking for. Find that which you are seeking. This is a pretty okay ruin. Not, not terribly exciting. I'm always excited when I f find a frog. If w I wish they were a legendary frog, that'd be cool. Alright, well, that, that was that. Tell you what, let's um, let's go out here, and we're gonna go to, I think it's F11, yeah, ruins, unvisited on only. Look at all them ruins that I've discovered as time has gone on. Quite a lot of, and there's some more. Well, we'll explore these ones while we're at it. Why not? Um, quite a lot, quite a lot of ruins. We might as well, you know, this is something to do. It's not quite ruin diving, but it is something. I might, uh, I might turn my option to ignore trivial creatures. Because I'm, I'm getting a little fed up with having to press buttons multiple times. Uh, automation, ignore enemies less than easy. That should be good, okay? Good enough. Uh, oh, what? 
Well, that did I not save or something? Automation. What? What? Maximum auto move squares. Ignore, okay. Ignore enemies farther away than something. I don't want to do that. Ignore enemies less than average. Let's, how about that? I know that's not good necessarily. It doesn't seem to be working. Maybe it, it, I have to go to a new screen or something. Doesn't seem to be too much going on on this screen. Seems like a long time since I've gotten any Red Chef lore. I, I don't feel like I've gotten that much Red Chef lore on this playthrough. It's felt really sparse to me. Smell roasted boar, sure. Let's check this out. Really hoping at some point I will find, a you know, there'll be a legendary goat folk at one of these plasma grenades, sure. I don't know what they're doing with that, but... But, uh, hasn't, hasn't worked out so far. Contracted Fickle Guild. It had to be Fickle Guild, didn't it? That means I have to find a Null Worm. I should have, uh, marked the map. I, fortunately, I think I still have a cure for that. On me. But I have to find a Null Worm. We're already famished, so, I don't know. Oh, I guess I can't. Yeah, I got I got fungled again. That's that's on me for sure, but ugh. can't I can I, I can I'm still allowed to be annoyed about it. I hate I hate fickle gill so much. There's like seriously nothing good about fickle gill. There's a, we got a dromad caravan. Do we? Where are they? Oh, okay. Anything cool? Uh, well, they got Taco Suprina, Supremas. That's generally a sign that they are uh, pretty good, but... Mm, I mean, I'll buy the Taco Suprema. I probably have something I can give up. Why am I not wearing... Oh, I contracted the Fickle Gill on my feet, didn't I? Yep. Alright, well... I'm sure I have something I can give up. Um... Oh, you know, I'm not sure if I shouldn't uh, wear that quantum moat. That is an extra uh, AV. You know, that is worthwhile. I did look up this arc winder, by the way. Um, there's the high voltage arc winders. I don't know if those are the same. Let me see here. Give me, give me a second here. Uh, comp I've been I've been looking up certain things because I really wanted to. Um, I have a I have a new series in mind that I want to do. So there's arc winder, and then there's high voltage arc winder. High voltage arc winders are sixty four. This is forty four. So if I find the high voltage arc winder, that'll be a hundred percent worth. Uh, you know getting that that's probably our end game weapon basically i don't think there's anything else worth more than that the cycle flesh guns are actually really good and in fact they do synergize with this run so i am very tempted on on that i'm very tempted to do cycle flesh guns i don't have any unfortunately i sold them um but uh you know Wow, we have 23 Taco Supremas. I think I have enough money. <laughs> I really think I'm good. I don't I don't really have to be doing this anymore. I mean, I'm gonna do it, but... Normality gas grenade. I think I got bought that on purpose. We have a lacquered pistol. Uh, we have metamorphic polygel. Oh, you know what? Let's sell these HE missiles. I don't have those intentionally. In fact, let's sell all of our arrows just to make up. I, I don't like selling lead slugs. There's something, you know, inside of me that says don't do that because you might, you might make use of them, but we won't, will we? We are never going to use lead slugs ever again. 
Um, okay. Is there anything else we can do? We can sell here. We could sell some dread root tubers. I don't think that uh, I don't think salve injectors are viable anymore. Not viable, but relevant to my needs. So we need to find a null worm. I don't really know where to find a null worm. Like they're just kind of they're they're kind of nomadic. They'll be underground generally. But, you know, it's it's going to require exploration. The the nice thing about curing fungal is that you uh you can uh cure all of them at once. The nice thing about null worms is that I'm pretty sure there is a hundred percent chance of them dropping corpses. I have a funny feeling um, that that's because enough people had like recipes that like required null worms, null worm corpses as a as part of a cure, and no one no one likes to see it. No one loves to see it. Um, you know, is that a grenade? High explosive mark ones explosion. Oh yeah, that was a mine. Um, yeah, it's really not a lot of fun. Um, you know, knowing you have to find a corpse for a pretty not common uh, enemy, and then like finding that enemy, and then not being able to, you know, not getting the corpse from it. Can we disarm this? A ninety percent chance. And then we'll treat these as scrap. Disassemble. Resonance grenade. I don't think we have resonance. Oh, is that a legendary Neftali? Loved by pariahs. They're a pariah. Hated by the glow whites. We could be on good terms with glow whites. Like, actually, on, like, friends to glow whites. L look at that. You are now favored by glow whites. That is very, not, like, weird. Finding a lot of pariahs, not a lot of uh, null worms, nor uh, a lot of frogs or legendary um, goat folk. I have to wonder, maybe just being kind of like on not terrible, like ignored, just being ignored by um, go goat folk might be enough that I don't have to worry about. This looks like a mechanist. Hated by hermits. Sure, let's let's get on very good terms with mechanist. I wish that this mechanic uh, mechanist rep was worth more. I have a secret for you. I have a secret for you. We could get some secrets. We could have them join me. Share some secrets with me. Some ruins. Okay, that's cool. Got anything to trade? Yes, you do. Oh my god. You've got tons of stuff. I would, uh, you know, normally I'd be tempted. I think I did say I was going to be a bit more discerning about what kind of bits I buy. But I'll definitely buy these injectors. Um, I would uh, normally be tempted to have them join me and then just, like, steal this stuff off them. But it's not really worth it anymore. We'll trade this floating glow sphere. We're we're at a ridiculous point where, um, you know, we don't we don't need to be stealing anymore. It's also just like more time and effort than it is worth. Okay, too famished. That's fine. We'll cook a meal. Actually, let's, uh, we're not inspired, so never mind. The next time I'm inspired, I'm going to make the, the dish with star apple jam and uh, vine uh, water sheaf. Because, like, I, I'm tired of, uh, like, just ending up in this position that I've created myself, created for myself. It's, it's a really not great position to be in. Let's check out this staircase. I'm pretty sure this is just a random staircase and not a ruinous one. Someone's shooting at me.
This uh, rifle is a real pain. Okay. Oh, that was a Nullworm corpse. Yes. No, we co we butchered it. Oh my god. All right. Well, I have to toggle off butcher, and now we gotta go find another b Nullworm. God damn it. Just just damn it. Just damn it. Hate that. That's so dumb. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's, uh, you know, it's not my fault. Because it is, but still, just damn. We're, at least we know we're in the right place to be finding null worms, though. We are almost at the, oh, there's another null worm. Okay, perfect. Take that corpse. Now we gotta be famis famished. Um, all right, we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna cure that fungal on this. Actually, you know what we'll do? Um, oops, is I'm gonna go to Kekukia. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have an extra Corpus Callias. I just want to make sure that I, I have the stuff I need. I don't really want to accidentally get this wrong. You will have another corpus, right? No, no other corpus, huh? Legendary Icker Merchant. I wonder if an Icker Merchant wouldn't be a good idea for me. It's only 50, wow. Yeah, we can, <clears throat> we could certainly check out a Legendary Icker Merchant. Why not? Uh, let's read that real quick. Legendary Icker Merchant for the highest quality wares, located three Parasangs east and two Parasangs south of Grit Gate. Well, we could go to Grit Gate. That makes sense. Because then now we have to go to the Six Day Stilt, unfortunately. We'll check out the uh, Icker Merchant real quick. Real quick, because I'm on my way to the Six Day Stilt so I can read the corpus so that I can be sure that I have the right ingredient. Oh, we're famished. Damn it. I actually do have enough love injectors I could hand in that quest. I don't think I want to, though. I think the love injectors are kind of more valuable than whatever... Uh, whatever that Betel can give us. I don't even know what the their, like, um, reward is. I'm pretty sure it's a cannon. So we're at Grit, Ge Grit Gate right now. Uh, wine weep. Do not come back, legendary goat. Oh, oh, I had a legendary goat marked on the map. Oh, okay. Um, I should go check that out, actually. You know what? Let's... Let's save that for the next episode. I'm gonna save it for the next episode, but if I have a legendary goat folk marked on the map... Um, that could be it. That could be enough to get us the reputation we need. We just need to share a dram with them. Like, I don't even need to use a love injector on them. Because we're on good terms with goat folk. We're on neutral terms with goat folk. They shouldn't be aggressive. Unless they're aggressive, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, we are, you know, not going to be attacked by goat folk. Unless they're aggressive goat folk. Which they tend to... I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. I don't have all the answers. That's that's now the catchphrase of this... Oh. Of this, um... Series. Loved by the Merchant's Guild. Hated by Mollusks. They have rocket skates. Um, I don't care enough about, um, Mollusks to... to I mean, having reputation with Mollusks is nice... Losing reputation with... Oh, this is kind of nice. Losing reputation with... Um, <clears throat> with the Merchant's Guild is kind of a blow. Um, this person is officially worth keeping around because we now officially have a seller who can sell us Neutron Flux. I think that they will actually refresh their wares uh, 
and and get more. Um, they do have quite a lot of stuff, but it, it's kind of a lot of it are repeats. This person just like sells a bunch of stuff, so um, could be worth it if I wanted to try and make the Deca slime. I still don't know if I want to do that on this run, but either way, we just got ourselves um, some neutron flux. Uh, trading for this is going to be tricky. Uh, kind of want to just do Taco Supremas. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. Let's do Taco Supremas. So, you know, why, why even bother collecting these if, if not to trade for them? <clears throat> so, that was highly worth it. Now, um, you know, we're running... These episodes have been like sta stock standard 40 minutes long. But I'm going to go real quick and cure our uh, fungal infection. Notice some ruins? Sure, we'll check out some ruins, ruins real quick. Uh, I'm not actually... Oh, hostiles nearby. Okay. Well, good thing I don't care. Alright, so uh, arrival location. We do have some books. We're going to check out the corpus. And then we'll uh, cure ourselves real quick I don't know if I've uh, if the, I think there might be an achievement associated with having the Pope join us got a little bit of XP not a lot and now let's check out I know someone was saying you can look at uh, painted and um, engraved items when it's in a store. I know that. Um, I uh, I just, you know, sometimes I can't be bothered. Okay, so, monochrome. Okay, antifungal cream. Gel, primordial soup. Just gel and primordial soup. The patient consumes a raw, no worm, corpse. That's it. So... Consume a corpse and then do the gel and primordial soup. So, okay. I'm pretty sure I even have that in there. Yes. Unctuous primordial soup. So, we're just going to wait until we're famished. So, that's going to be 700 turns. It is about a 700 turns between, you know, when you're uh, sated to hungry... And then hungry to famished, in case you're curious about that. So we consume the corpse, eat, yummy, you feel a little queasy. And now we spray bottle, apply fickle gill. There we go, we're cured, nice. Um, don't forget to re-equip our scaled flawless crystal boots. Repair, I mean, yeah, I guess we want to repair that, don't we? Uh, equip. And that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, actually, let me let me just have a quick look here. Uh, what kind of reputation do you have? Disliked by goat folk. I think I deliberately avoided making friends with them because I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to give up that goat folk. So we're, we're, I'm going to continue to not do that, basically. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'm going to do a little bit of shopping in the stilt between episodes so that you don't have to uh, suffer that. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.